Hello, welcome back to Dragon Age Origins with me at Nidhi. Now, I want to go uh, to Lake yes. Kalanhat and do Ogren's Quest uh, before we continue on. So that should probably be at the docks, I'm assuming. So we'll go there and see if we find any source or trace of uh, that dwarven girl we are looking for. Also, there's a dead refugee up ahead. We'll loot the elf root first. So, Ogren has a level up. We can give him like three strength and a bit of dexterity perhaps. Let's say like that. Okay. Uh, also, you can be Templar, because why not? You will get three mental resistance. Oh, the whole Templar doesn't do a lot to him. Wish we could get the champion uh, or reaver unlocked. Well, not today, apparently. Uh, he is all the way up there. Let's just get this. Don't really care too much. Uh, Berserker is fully maxed. Here we could have Precise Striking. That sounds like a good one. Destroyer. Few can stand against the savage blows of a destroyer. Every attack sunders the target's armor, reducing its effectiveness for a short time. The effects are not cumulative. Okay, but that will just apply a debuff to enemies. That's good. And we have one more, which will put into precise striking. Uh, I'm not intending to control Ogren too much anyways, so... Yes, uh, yellow shade, yellow shade, yellow shade, purple shade. Hmm. Kind of wish I had my regular old party with me for that encounter well. with a proper healer. Uh, you two back please okay let the others start the fight there we go um we'll work on yellow shades first and i'd like to start what's that aura of weakness okay let's apply scatter shot first and Start working on them with Morrigan. Yes. So I'm not sure. Yeah, let's do a uh, chain lightning. Chain lightning goes off. Okay. We can always just get more um, health back by drinking potions, right? Okay, let's focus that one. That one is attacking our ranged people. Which isn't great. Okay. And move the ranged people up a bit. I mean, Alistair should be doing quite a bit of damage. Okay, it's just attacking us. Let's kick it. There we go. Uh, resisted. That's not good. But anyways... Shouldn't take too long. Okay, that one is down. So what what level do they have? Level 15 for the boss. That's not bad. Let's get uh, an arrow slaying off. And try to freeze it. Didn't work, but I think the damage was not bad. Cane bolt. Okay. Have that in the bag. No loot, sadly. What does the refugee have? Tattered note, bloodstained note. The only words are legible. Read. Why? Oh, why didn't we just take the flying eagles? Flying eagles. The tier one shortbow. I'll take that. Although it's not that great loot. Uh, I was kind of expecting the. 
uh, one of those missing people like no facile well well yeah, facile sextant exactly that I was kind of expecting this to be here but apparently it's not oh well let's continue to Lake Callenhart now he said something about she would be in the inn. Those are the, the guys that were false witnesses or something. So we can return Clyde that quest. Come back soon. Don't suppose they have more quests? No. Five goals, that's not bad. There now let's is. see. I'm ah. gonna go talk to her. Look, you gotta back me up here. Got it? Uh, she's not a genlock. You can handle her on your own. You haven't met her, I take it. Maybe I should go talk to her first. Find out how much she misses old Ogren or who I have to kill. And then I'll go sweep her off her feet. That's me, <laughs> Mr. Charm. Oh, my. Felsey, run. Run as long as you still can. <laughs> what can I get for you? And don't say mead. We ran out of that a week ago. And don't say rum, either. Ran out the day before yesterday. And don't say brandy. Uh, why all the liquor shortages? Have you seen how desperate people are now? They just want to drink to forget what's happened. Some ran out of coin and started paying in food, chickens, whatever they had. Felsy! I need tables clean, girl! I've got a customer! Um, what's a dwarf doing working in a bar in Lothering? Same as I'd be doing anywhere, earning coin. My mother lives here. Someone's got to take care of the old Bronto. So, you don't happen to know a fellow named Ogren, do you? Ugh, did you have to bring his name up? I just ate. <laughs> So you're not exactly a fan of his, then? You could say that. You could also say I would rather kiss a deep stalker on the lips than see him again. I see. Uh, what happened? What happened? Is that a serious question? Have you met Ogren? He got drunk. Drunker than usual, even. Took off his pants and challenged a roast nug to a wrestling match at my father's funeral. He lost, by the way. The roast got him in an arm lock. He sat there crying for half an hour before someone pulled it off him. Okay, um, how did he lose to a piece of meat? It was a sodding good roast. Felsy, what in Andraste's name are you doing? The tables, girl! Alright! I've gotta get back to work. Uh, okay, so, so she doesn't like him uh, all that much. What can we do? Let's see. Ogren has told you about an old friend, Felsi. Did not part on good terms. Now that he's on the surface, he wants to look her up, see if she has forgiven him. She hasn't. I got work to do. I don't need to think about that sodding waste. <laughs> he's just standing here. Uh, what can we do? Welcome back to the Spoiled Princess. How may I serve you today? Uh... I'd like a drink. Of course. What would you like? Okay, so he has a couple things for sale. No more drinks, though. That is okay. Uh, do I have to talk to Ogre, or just leave and re-enter? Well, what does she say? She hasn't exactly forgiven you for the knock incident. Ah, that fight was rigged. <laughs> Anyway, the guard said it wasn't worth pressing charges, so she's no call to hold a grudge. Did she say anything else? Well, uh, g go get her, I guess. Just be ready to pry her off when she throws herself at me. We don't want to make a scene here. Well, don't pry her off me too soon. I mean, a little scene's all right. Are you sure you're not a baker? Because you got a sodding nice set of buns. Oh my! Well, look what the nug dragged in. 
I should have known you were in the neighborhood, by the stench. What are you doing here? Uh, just trying to kick back with a pint. Fighting Darkspawn's a lot of sodding work, you know? You're fighting Darkspawn? Um... <laughs> if you call getting drunk and wetting yourself fighting, I'll just watch. Well, someone's gotta do it, you know? <laughs> Can't leave a blight to the humans. They'll just muck it all up. The whole surface to choose from, and you just happen to come to my tavern? Eh, uh, well... Uh... Well, let's just the watch. It's sodding place to get a drink for miles. Tell her you've been thinking. I don't want to help help him actually. <laughs> uh, you don't miss Ogren just a little bit. How can I miss him until he leaves? You keep saying that. I know you still want me though. It's like you can read my mind. Someone call the chantry. This must be blood magic at work. Um. Well, he probably is much more fun than the men around here. If by fun you mean more likely to light farts on fire, yes. Oh well, it's been fun, Felsi, but I better go. Don't let the door hit you in the arse on the way out. Actually, who am I kidding? Go ahead and let it. Indulge yourself. All right, so that's that for the quest. Yes, that's that for the quest. I don't know. Ogren so far is like the only companion I would seriously consider throwing out of the of the group. Uh, just, just not a not a nice character in my opinion at all. So let's see. Save before the game crashes and talk to Ogren. That could have gone better. Uh, not very surprising after what you did to her. After this thing with the archdemon's over, I'll have to pry the ladies off with pliers, I suppose. <laughs> Might as well rest up while I can. You ready to go? Um, honestly, that whole pliers thing, I don't think that's going to work like that. Uh... We could ask him to leave. It's not like we want him around, kind of. But Aye. All right, then. not right now. Although, can we? <laughs> Ass <chaps. laughs> oh my! Oh my! Uh, can we unequip stuff from him afterwards and I think I'll I'll do that unequip his stuff and throw him out next next time we are in the camp I it's really like we should just not get him any drinks anymore perhaps he will change for the better then but as it is now uh, no. <laughs> Indeed. Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's take the regular old party and go to Redcliffe Castle then. Which we need to in order to put a couple ashes on the Arl. And hope he will recover. Uh, let's see the ch uh, journal. Love letters. Yeah, I still have to find a couple of those. Uh, we have to return to the Nord Noble, have to find another Garnet. Then here, uh, Rexel. Yeah, actually, let's not look at too many of these. Trial of Crows we will do once we are back in Denerim. Yeah, of course, to speak with Will Madon in Denerim. Okay, we'll do that once we are there as well. Scrolls in some language, don't know where to 
go for those. Ah, yeah, Drake scale armor and Dragon scale armor. We'll go for the um, to get those in Denerim as well. Mage's collective places of power. Don't know. Scraping the barrel. Uh, we have to get access to the alienage, then probably those will solve themselves. But for now, let's work on the Arl of Red Cliff. I hope we don't have to do anything with these landmarks anytime soon. Because we walked past so many of them. Alright. So, Van Tegen. You return. Might you have news? Um, yes, we have found the urn. You have? Wonderful. Let us go at once to Eamon's side and see if the urn's healing powers live up to their reputation. Well, the ash's healing power, you mean? Yeah, seems to work. Where am I? Be calm, brother. You have been deathly ill for a very long time. Do you remember nothing? Tegan? What are you doing here? Where is Isold? I am here, my husband. And Connor? Where is my boy? Where is our son? He lives. Though many others are dead. There is much to tell you, husband. Dead? Then... It was not a dream. Much has happened since you fell ill, brother. Some of it will not be easy for you to hear. Then tell me. I wish to hear all of it. All right. A lot to tight chest. This is most troubling. There is much to be done, that is true. But I should first be thankful to those who have done so much. Grey Warden, you have not only saved my life, but kept my family safe as well. Yeah, I try to. Death. Will you permit me to offer you a reward for your service? Uh, if you'd like, I won't object, I guess. Then allow me to declare you and those traveling with you champions of Redcliffe. You will always be a welcome guest within these halls. And for you, Warden. A shield of the same make as those that have been given to our finest knights. Uh, thank you, Mr. Arl. We should speak of Loghain, brother. There is no telling what he will do once he learns of your recovery. Loghain instigates a civil war even though the Darkspawn are on our very doorstep. Long I have known him, he is a sensible man. One who never desired power. I was there when he announced he was taking control of the throne, Eamon. He is mad with ambition, I tell you. Mad indeed. Mad enough to kill Caelan to attempt to kill myself and destroy my lands. Whatever happened to him, Loghain must be stopped. What's more, we can scarce afford to fight this war to its bitter end. Yes, uh, perhaps he's not himself. Perhaps he's possessed or something. Um... Can you unite the nobility against Loghain? I could unite those opposing Loghain, yes. But not all oppose him. He has some very powerful allies. We have no time to wage a campaign against him. Someone must surrender if Ferelden is to have any chance of fighting the Darkspawn. So you are giving up? No, not at all. Loghain is responsible for heinous crimes, and I intend to see him pay. But our armies must be reserved for the Darkspawn, not for each other. I will spread word of Loghain's treachery, both here and against the King. But it will be but a claim made without proof. Those claims will give Loghain's allies pause. But we must combine it with a challenge Loghain cannot ignore. We need someone with a stronger claim to the throne than Loghain's daughter, the Queen. Are you referring to Alistair, brother? 
Are you certain? I would not propose such a thing if we had an alternative. But the unthinkable has occurred. So... You intend to put Alistair forward as a king? Tegan and I have a claim through marriage, but we would seem opportunists no better than Loghain. Alistair's claim is by blood. And what about me? Does anyone care what I want? You have a responsibility, Alistair. Without you, Loghain wins. I would have to support him for the sake of Ferelden. Is that what you want? I... B but I... No, my lord. I see only one way to proceed. I will call for a landsmeet, a gathering of all of Ferelden's nobility in the city of Denerim. There, Ferelden can decide who shall rule, one way or another. Then the business of fighting our true foe can begin. What say you to that, my friend? I do not wish to proceed without your blessing. Um... Do you think this lands meet idea will work? That depends. If we cannot get a consensus in the lands meet for Alistair, we cannot afford to oppose Loghain either. Does that mean Loghain could win? A man who killed his own king, who has gone mad with power? Perhaps. We must see that he does not. What if we support Loghain? I hope that's a joke. I hope it does not come to that. If you are suggesting surrender, consider that he has already sought your death. You think he will spare you, knowing what you know? Yeah, probably until the Darkspawn threat is over and then some heads will pop off. Okay, uh, what are the options then? You have already found allies. But we need those to fight Darkspawn. I truly believe the Landsmeet is our best option. We could attempt to wage a military campaign against Loghain. But even if we win, would we have enough left to defeat the Darkspawn? No, but neither would Loghain. Perhaps Loghain gambles on this attitude. That everyone will decide facing the Darkspawn is more vital than facing him. So that he leads us against the Horde. Okay, it's, the game kind of notches me towards that lance meat thing. So it seems we have little choice. Well, well. I will send out the word. But before we proceed, I believe there is the matter of the mage, my son's tutor. He still lives, I understand. Yes. He, he is in the dungeon, brother. Have him brought here, Tegan. I wish to see him. Jowan, what you have done is not in question. You tried to assassinate me and set into motion a series of events that nearly destroyed everything I cherish. What have you to say in your own defense? Nothing, my lord. Other than to say I am sorry. I expect no mercy for what I have done. I see. Grey Warden, have you anything to say on Jowan's behalf? He has cooperated willingly, though he has little choice. Yeah, he has cooperated willingly, though he has little choice. You damn him with faint praise, I see. Then there is nothing more to say. Jowan, I hereby sentence you to death. May the Maker show you the mercy we cannot. Thank you, my lord. Now, back to the matter of the lands meet. We should head to Denerim as soon as possible. I can delay that, however, if you have other plans. I would prefer not giving Loghain time to consider, but it is up to you. I do not wish to go to Denerim unless you are with me. Uh, yeah, I kind of want to go to Denerim anyways next, so let's go to Denerim. Excellent. I shall make the arrangements. Let us be off to Denerim, and may the Maker watch over us. Not sure if that was a no point Denerim of return is the heart and choice. Soul of Ferelden. It was the city of King Kalanhad, the birthplace of Andraste. As stubborn as a Mabari, and as good to have on your side. If we defeat Loghain here, the rest of the nation will follow us. By calling the Landsmeet, I've struck the first blow. 
The advantage for the moment is ours. He will have little choice but to show himself, to oppose us directly. He will strike back at us. The only question that remains is how soon. Logan, this is an honor that the Regent would find time to greet me personally. How could I not welcome a man so important as to call every lord in Ferelden away from his estates while a blight claws at our land? The blight is why I'm here. With Caelan dead, Ferelden must have a king to lead it against the Darkspawn. Ferelden has a strong leader. It's queen. And I lead her armies. Um... Yes, so if Anora rules, let her speak for herself. Ah, the Grey Warden recruit. I thought we might meet again. You have my sympathies on what happened to your order. It is unfortunate that they chose to turn against Ferelden. Um... I don't accept sympathies of deserters and regicides. You should curb your tongue. This is my city and no safe place to speak treason. For anyone. There is talk that your illness left you feeble, Eamon. Some worry that you may no longer be fit to advise Ferelden. Illness? Why not call your poison by its true name? Not everyone at the Landsmeet will cast aside their loyalties as easily as you and these sycophants. How long you've been gone from court, Eamon? Don't you recognize Rendon Howe, Arl of Amaranthine, and Terran of High Ever? And current Arl of Denerim, after Urien's unfortunate fate at Ostagar. Truly, it is an embarrassment of riches. Uh... I demand blood rights. This man murdered my family. You have no rights. Your family surrendered them when I revealed them to be traitors to the king. All right. Um. Prove it to the landsmeet. They still hang murderers there. You are either very bold or very stupid to threaten the turn before witnesses. Enough, Carthrian. This is not the time or place. I had hoped to talk you down from this rash course, Eamon. Our people are frightened. Our king is dead. Our land is under siege. We must be united now if we are to endure this crisis. Your own sister, Queen Rowan, fought tirelessly to see Ferelden restored. Would you see her work destroyed? You divide our nation and weaken our efforts against the Blight! With your selfish ambitions to the throne! Uh... You're the one who divided Ferelden. Well, if you truly want to save this land, stand with us. I should put my faith in untried foreign hands. Do you think I'm blind? Kalen depended on the Grey Warden's prowess against the Darkspawn, and look how well that ended. Let us speak of reality rather than tall tales. Stories will not save us. I cannot forgive what you've done, Loghain. Perhaps the Maker can, but not I. Our people deserve a King of the Theron bloodline. Alistair will be the one to lead us to victory in this blight. Oh, is that all I have to do? No pressure. The Emperor of Orlais also thought I could not bring him down. Expect no more mercy than I showed him. There is nothing I would not do for my homeland. Well, that was bracing. I didn't expect Loghain to show himself quite so soon. Um... Yes, and to be so convinced of his uh, idea of being right, without explaining why. Uh, let's see... Yeah, how killed my family. We can't let him get away with that. I would not ask you to. 
But bear in mind that he will be well protected by his alliance with Loghain. He always seemed the kind of man who enjoyed kicking stray dogs. I would not have thought Loghain would trust him. We need eyes and ears in the city. Loghain has been here for months. The roots of all his schemes must begin here. The sooner we find them, the better we can turn them to our advantage. Go have a look around, and see what you can turn up. Better yet, find the nobles who have arrived for the landsmate. Test the waters. See how many will support us. When you're ready to talk strategy, come upstairs to my sitting room. We can lay out our plans for the landsmeet then. Alright, so... Now we are going to... Arl Eamon's estate. Yeah, now we are going to... Um... Oh, is that our new camp? Because we have Shale here. Could be a new camp. Um, yeah, let's put down a safe real quick and see what we find in this new area. Now we are also in Denerim. We can do the Denerim quests, hopefully. Excuse me, I have to dust the Isle's sitting room. Um, are you from Denerim? No, I'm from Redcliffe. Lady Isolde brought me here to be her chambermaid last spring. I have family here, though. I beg your pardon, sir, but I really can't be seen standing about. The housekeeper will have my head. Good day. Hmm. Mistreatment of elves. Uh, right, so here we have the dog. A book. Is that like my room? No. No, probably not. It's like a common room with a bed. Ah. Okay. Another book. Do any of these people have something new to say? This is not as defensible as I would like, but it will do. You called. Uh, can we talk to I you about something? Surprised. Never mind. Well. Uh, don't think as we have wish. anything more past the initial line. If one more servant asks if I would like a change of clothes, I will set the house on fire. What comes, my friend? Yeah, I think it's just the, the initial the initial line that changed. The nice touch nonetheless. Right, so here we have loot. It shall be done. Ash warrior axe. I don't need that. He said something ah there he is Arl Eamon. Is that? Oh, it's it's a double room in ah, here. Ah, warden. I trust you've made yourself comfortable. Um. Yes, yes. Very nice ha uh, Look, house. Because it's likely to be your last rest for a while. This is Elena. She's. I am Queen Enora's handmaiden. She sent me here to ask for your help. Or perhaps the young lady prefers to speak for herself. Why would Honora ask us for help? The Queen, she is in a difficult position. She loved her husband, no? And trusted her father to protect him. When he returns with no king and only dark rumors, what is she to think? She worries, no? But when she tries to speak with him, he does not answer. He tells her not to trouble herself. So, you saying the Queen believes Loghain killed Caelan? My Queen suspects she cannot trust her father. And Loghain, he is very subtle, no? But Rand and Hal, he is privy to all the secrets and not so subtle. So she goes to Hal. A visit from the Queen to the new Isle of Denrum is only a matter of courtesy. And she demands answers. And that didn't go well, I guess. He calls her every sort of name, traitor being the kindest, and locks her in a guest room. So, what do we do? I think her life is in danger. I heard how say she would be a greater ally dead than alive, especially if her death could be blamed on Arl Eamon.
Would Logan kill his own daughter just to frame Eamon? We may have no choice but to trust Anora. The Queen is well loved. If Loghain succeeded in pinning her death on me, I'm not sure that's a risk we can afford to take. Yes, and especially if the rightful Queen is on our side. Uh, potentially that's a lead worth investigating. What do you propose we do? I have some uniforms. I'll how hire so many new girls every day. A few more will not cause much stir. I will show you to the servants' entrance. We must slip in and out with my queen before anyone is the wiser. I will go ahead to house estate. Meet me there as soon as you can. All right, new areas opening up. But we came here to look at codex entries and loot stuff. Alistair? I haven't been here in a while. They've changed the dining room. Ask away. They've changed the dining room. <laughs> That's the worst thing they could do. Change the dining room. Ah, chest. Battle axe, tier 5, don't need that. Another book. Um, Let's put down a safe, not that I run into a situation where I can't back out again. I'm glad you decided to help. With the Nora's knowledge, we have a far better chance against Loghain. Um, yeah, you're right. I'll meet her don't at the estate. I don't know Anora well, but I know enough to be sure she has her own ambitions in this. But I think, for now, we can be confident that ours overlap. Good luck. Thank you. Yes, interesting. So, let's see. Shale is down here. Everything in here appears to be breakable. It seems most impractical. All right. His lordship sends no notice he's coming, and now the house is full of guests. Andraste preserves, this will be the death of me. Why we bring our own supplies? That's not a problem. The Redcliffe servants are intolerable. I don't care if their household is ten times the size of ours. They're visitors here. They should show some manners. Okay, so we have infighting amongst the servants already. Severin! You know, I could get to like this. The last time I came to Denerim, I stayed at an inn so filthy the bedbugs had fleas. What say you? Yeah, that sounds bad if the bedbugs have fleas. <laughs> Liliana. It's a nice change from having to sleep in the woods, isn't it? Something I can help with? Um, <laughs> what do you know of this place? Denerim is Ferelden's most important city, yes? This is the seat of power, the jewel in the crown of the king. She is Ferelden's heart. Her walls are strong, but within them lies so much beauty, just like the country and the people. All right. Let's move on then. Book. Uh, Denol. I hope all the accommodations are to your liking, Warden. Please let me know if anything is troubling you. Denol. There's probably uh, some people among the staff that are As you say. spice. If they keep tracking mud up here, it's going to take a month to get it all out. Ah, love letter. Cool. And the health pool. This will take both of those. Could be that that was the last one we needed. Ah, uh, missing in action. No, that's not the one. Uh, favors. Yeah, you have found 12, so that was the last one. Win! This is a nice estate, isn't it? What's on your mind? Yes, it is pretty nice. It is no trouble. Uh, so, let's see... Ogren. I got a moment, hey, sure. Well, never mind. Hi. Alright then. That, that just did it. Ogren, give me your gear. And get out of here. I got a moment, hey, sure. I'd like you what? to leave. Me leave? Are you serious? Yes, 
Uh, I think we're better off without you. Go. Go where? I threw in my lot with you, Warden. And until now, I thought you were the best deal I'd ever landed. But far be it for me to get in your hair if you don't want me. If I learn nothing else from Bronca, <laughs> I've got that. Maybe Felsi will take me in. I may not have my cast, but no one can take away my sheer stud factor. Oh, good luck. Ah, uh, good luck with Felsi. Toast the Archdemon when he's dead. Honestly, we don't need him. He's more of a liability than an asset at this point. So, Agatha, oh, a book. Agatha. Dinner's not ready yet, and don't ask. It'll be served when it's done, and that's that. Now, that's show. okay. Can't talk now, sir. Mistress Agatha would have my eye. The potatoes so rotten, they didn't even sour. They just crawled away. Okay. I think we are done in the estate for now, and we'll see what we find outside in the next episode. So, thanks a lot for watching, do hope you've enjoyed and hope to see you next time. Have a great day and bye!